Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is going to be the first in a couple videos about the Surface Go 2, how it performs for art, and a couple questions that I had about possible bugs and problems that it would have uh, that were uh, native to the Surface Pro 7 and Surface Pro X. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the main question I had was on the pressure staircasing bug that was in the Surface Pro 7 and Pro X. So in order to uh, emulate that, you can see up here, going up and down, it's smooth and when it goes. And with the bug, it would staircase, so it would look like that on the way down. All right, who cares? So resting the palm on the screen, we're gonna press hard and light, and you can see it retains that nice smooth uh, gradient from full pressure, light pressure, full pressure to light pressure again. So that's very good news, very, very good news. So the next test we're gonna do is we're going to demonstrate here in Krita, just kind of that ramp going up and down. If you watched my last video, you remember this had some uh, very serious problems on the Surface Pro 7. So here we're gonna go heavy pressure and back to light pressure. Um, now I don't know this for sure yet. Uh, by the way, I'm testing with the R520 two button stylus. This is my preference and I think it's the best choice for the Surface Go 2. Um, so far, Surface Go, Surface Pro 7, a lot of different devices is my favorite one. This is the stock pen. Um, part of the reason I don't like the stock pen as much is it has a harder time going back down. The pressure curve is a little bit worse on the stock one. The line quality is pretty similar on both, and in the next videos, I'll be doing some pressure tests, uh, line tests, so you can see the uh, jitter inside of the Surface Go 2, uh, any improvements over the Surface Go, the original one, I'll have side-by-side -side comparisons as well. The next question, uh, one of the other really big ones on my plate was whether or not the pen tool would work. Uh, by the way, the Surface Go 2 comes in uh, S mode. It took me approximately 40 seconds to get out of S mode. It's really easy. Um, It'll prompt you if you try and install an app, it'll prompt you and then you can just click uh, get out of S mode and it'll ask you why. All right, so the other question I had was whether I could remap the side buttons on the pen. And um, the two button pen, you can remap the top one and the middle one, the tip in the middle. The tip one, you can draw and it will let, let you remap hover events but when you put the tip on the screen itself, it's just going to act like the eraser. This is the eraser instead of on the end on a two button stylus. So this here, so this is the eraser. This is right click. This is just right click. So here I have this remapped to alt, which isn't going to do anything in Krita, but you can see um, I do have alt remapped here. Okay, so that was great news. I'm really excited about that, uh, the ability to use the pen tool on this. And so far, the Surface Go 2 feels pretty snappy. I'm happy about that. I like that the screen has a higher resolution, which means programs like Krita don't look ridiculous with giant things all over the place and nothing fitting. It actually looks pretty decent at this resolution. All right, you guys, that is my first review. Um, I will have, like I said, a number of other uh, reviews out uh, shortly so you guys can see more on the Surface Go 2 and get a really good idea of what this device can do, how it works with Photoshop, how it works with a couple other programs, and give you guys a, a really good idea of what to expect. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is a great channel to subscribe to, especially if you use a tablet or a stylus that uses Windows 10. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day. Uh -huh.